Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. I always brag about HEB Grocery Store to my daughter. I've been dying to just get in here and show around just a little bit. Absolutely love HEB. Uh, they're a chain through Texas and some other states. They do so much for the local community. I really wanted to show my daughter the two important things here, the produce section, and the booze section. Everything here is clean and well stocked. Um, as well stocked as it can be nowadays, you know, with uh, all the shortages from around the world. You guys have seen the news. We're in trouble. Let's just go grocery shopping. <laughs> that being said, I had uh, three pictures of dog food, bag dog food that I wanted to buy. Uh, I'm house sitting right now. And they didn't have any. Their dog food section, the dry baked bags, was pretty much cleaned out. Um, I don't know why there'd be a dog food shortage. Maybe it's a shipping issue. But uh, in general, this store is very well stocked, clean. Uh, their produce section is just amazing. They have uh, packaged, sliced produce ready for you to buy. And then the standard, you know, you buy your own. Uh, the employees here are really nice. The bakery here uh, makes their own tortillas fresh. That's pretty awesome. I was watching the lady do that, and I asked her a very weird question. Can I film your hands? And she said, mm. and I said, okay, I got you. We'll leave you alone. But I um, enjoy coming here. I, I need to shop at HEB more often. I uh, do tend to just go to Walmart, but the produce section at HEB is, is just better. Uh, Walmart has a lot of good things too. You know, I'm, I'm looking at the prices and uh, when I was a kid, you could walk into a store with a dollar and come out with two apples, half gallon of milk, loaf of bread, and a big jar of peanut butter. Nowadays, they got security cameras. <laughs> Little grocery store dad joke for you there. I like pineapples. Pineapples make me think of the TV show Psych. They had a running gag. There was a pineapple or a mention of pineapple in every episode. Mangoes. My uh, cameras, there's so much stuff here, my camera's having trouble focusing. It's uh, too much to see. But a bunch of you people in the comments will uh, mention HEB, and some of you don't know what HEB is, and... You can look up other videos, the history of HEB. But it's nice to, uh, around Texas, there's a HEB just about everywhere. There's a uh, HEB here in Rockport. There's another one in Portland. Corpus Christi's got five or six. And uh, it's just nice to go to some place consistent when you want to buy some groceries. Everything's fresh or it's not out. They, they have all kinds of people. I'm trying not to record anyone, give people their privacy, but I mean, there's so many different kinds of tomatoes here, for instance, you know? All the avocados are fresh. Um, I actually, I don't want to mention uh, any other stores, but I, I found, I've found mold on avocados, you know? Organic bananas, regular bananas. I used to have another joke, um, California is kind of like granola, what ain't fruits and nuts is flakes. Now that probably offended four different groups of people. I don't care. It's a joke. I tell fat jokes, I tell bald jokes. I've taken out my teeth on camera. I don't want to hear that you're offended. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Carrots, that is quite a lettuce selection. What I, another thing I really like about H-E-B, here they have all the frozen seafood right around the corner. We'll work our way over there. I'm looking one way and filming another. This is kind of all the bag salad section, and there's a big case of cold alcohol for you. I was talking to that delivery guy about seltzer, and, he, and I said, uh, wait, when they started selling hard seltzer, did you think anyone would buy it? And he's like, no, I, I don't like it. I'm like, I, I don't like it either. <laughs> that looks interesting. 1909 Shiner. 
I will say this, Walmart usually has one, two, if you're lucky, types of shiner. There's probably a dozen different ones here. Look at that one. That's calling my name, huh? I might come back on another trip and try that 1909. Uh, Shiner has a uh, anniversary beer every year. They got a prickly pear beer. I've had that before. Really good. There's Yingling that for years and years was only sold in Pennsylvania. They started selling it in Texas now. And you got your standards. There's three aisles of alcohol here. Two aisles of wine and another reason I like H-E-B. I was drinking wine pretty regularly when I had my own condo in uh, Philadelphia. God, was it a condo? No, that was an apartment. Had a balcony. I had a little, someone gave me a little wine rack. And an Italian man gave me three bottles of wine from Italy. So I couldn't have three bottles in a, in a 12 bottle rack. So, you know, I had to fill them up and rotate them. This is the section I was waiting for people to leave, but there they have some packaged seafood. Look at this fresh seafood, guys. This is like their butcher counter. Like, like if you walked into a butcher shop, there's people on the other side of the counter getting you what you need. The bakery's fresh. All the food here is awesome. Very nice people. Try an HEB if you can.